If you want to buy FIFA coins, go and check out IG Vault in the description and use the discount code BEN to get a huge discount. Yo, what's up guys? Today, I'm going to be doing a foot draft, but Euro 2016 edition. So today, I'm going to be showing you a new game mode that I have come up with myself, where you can actually get Euro 2016 special cards in the foot draft. And I'm going to be selecting my favourite team out of all those players. And we're going to make the best Euro 2016 team we can. Literally, it's going to be the ultimate Euro 2016 team. Now, obviously, guys, I actually did it myself. Like, I did everything myself. So, it did take quite a lot of effort to find the players, find the cards and everything to put it together. So, obviously, it's not real. I'm not trying to fool you guys or trick you or anything. I did make it up myself. I edited it myself to show you guys what it would be like if we actually got special Euro 2016 cards in the foot draft to make like a sick team at the end. Because this did take quite a lot of time, I'm going to ask you guys to smash 1,294 likes. Smash that many likes and I'll bring you something like this again. So just smash 1,294 and you'll get something like this again because this is actually quite cool to show you guys because I'm actually interested to see what team would actually be like, good for the Euros. It's actually interesting. Now, what I want you guys to do, I want you to leave your prediction of who's going to win the Euros in the comment section down below. All right, so let's see who the goalkeepers are. We have Hart, Hits. I don't know who he is, by the way. You guys probably know who he is. Leno, Neuer, and Buffon. Obviously, the standout player here is obviously Neuer. But, yeah, there's no buts. I'm just going to go with Neuer, obviously. Neuer is the person I'm going with. He will save everything except i've heard these cards actually quite aids on the actual game when you play with them this team of the year card so but he's, he's still the best card here so it's going to be neuer as the goalkeeper in this team these cards actually look sick by the way don't they if you think they look sick let me know in the comments it's actually i man the match card design that i found so if, if you're interested that's what it is so guys the next position we have the first full back position we're going to go right back we have bella in that 98 pace walker 90 pace one from Piszczek and Sanya. I personally think the person I'm going to have to choose here is either one front or Bellerin. I don't really know. I don't really want to choose Walker because, I don't know, he's just not that great at defending, I don't think. So, Bellerin, I think I have to choose with 98 pace. You just can't go wrong with 98 pace. You actually can't. You need fast fullbacks to catch up with, like, Ronaldo and stuff like that if you come against them. So, Bellerin, I'm going to have to take the right back. So, let's move on to the next position. We have the centre-back, PK Hummels, Ramos, Smalling, and Koscielny there. I personally think the 94... It has to be 94 Ramos. That Ramos card actually looks amazing. To be fair, all these cards that I've shown you so far pretty much are amazing. Other than that, like, hits goalkeeper. He's probably still good, but... Yeah, he doesn't look that amazing. But Ramos, I'm going to choose for the first centre-back position in this Euro 2016 squad. And as for the next centre-back position, we have Benucci, Mikel San Jose, Barzagli, Mustafi, and Pepe. I think... To, 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 I know we, it doesn't really matter about chemistry in this because I'm just trying to choose the best squad. Chemistry doesn't really matter in this, by the way, if you're, if you're wondering. I think, based off that, the highest rated one is Bozagli, but I don't think he's that actually that amazing. I think, honestly, actually, wait, no, I'm going mad. Yeah, but it has to be Bozagli. 81 pace. He's the fastest one there, and he has best defending. And he has the best physical. He, he has to be in the team. He has to be in the team. Bozagli is the next position. It has to be. So the next position, we have got the next fullback position, which is obviously left back. We have Jordi Alba, Azpilicueta, Bertrand, Christian Fuchs from Leicester, and Danny Rose from Spurs. I honestly can't say no to Jordi Alba. I don't care. Literally, the rest are just terrible. Jordi Alba, and they're, not, they're not terrible, I guess, but they're nowhere near as good as Jordi Alba. So Jordi Alba is going left back in the team. So moving on to the midfield now, we have done the whole defence, and it's looking good. Now we just need a solid midfield and a solid attack and we've completed this Euro 2016 squad and it looks sick. Let's move on to the centre defensive mid position. We have Busquets, 90 rated there, Kante, Matuidi, Eric Dier and Nyan Golan. That Nyan Golan card actually has every stat over 85. I seriously, Busquets is also obviously good. I, that, looking at that Nyan Golan card, it actually looks ridiculous. The not, Nyan Golan, I think I'm going to have to choose. He actually looks... I've never seen him play in real life. If you have, let me know in the comments. But he is... He looks ridiculous, that card. I literally cannot say no. No one else has... Actually, Matuidi as well. Wow. No, Busquets, the only thing letting him down is pace and shooting. But Matuidi... Actually, Kante... What? I'm going mad. I'm basically saying every card is basically the same. But no. I'm going to have to go with nine goals. Actually, no. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm changing that. We're going with Matuidi. I changed my mind like three times, didn't I? But we're going with Matuidi. Right, so we've chosen our defence. We've chosen our CDM. Now we need a solid attacking mid to link up with the strikers and the wingers, which we haven't chosen yet. So, 
As for Cam, we have got Dimitri Payet, Hamsik, Ozil, Iniesta and Kevin De Bruyne. I think it has to be Iniesta. Iniesta, not only, this is about chemistry, but he does link with everyone. Not only that, he's obviously probably the best player there, obviously. 96 ribbing, 98 pace. I, I mean, 98 pace, where did that come up from? No, they used to get two pace, 98 passing, I mean. But Iniesta has to be in the team. Iniesta is sick. He's going in the team. So, moving on to the right mid position. We have got Thomas Muller, Kandreva, Griezmann, 95, Komen, and Carrasco. Carrasco, by the way, is actually really sick. He always comes up for me on foot draft. I don't know, he probably comes up for everyone else as well. I know he does because he comes up. I want Bale, but I get Carrasco, Isco, or uh, who else is there? There's some other guy that comes up all the time. That I don't get Bale. I get 99 Messi. But no, he, Carrasco comes up after to ruin my chances of a 194 or some shit. But Carrasco, it looks good, all right. But Müller, it's going to have to be Müller or Griezmann. I think Griezmann, just 97 shooting and 95 passing, 93. I can't. I'm, really, I'm saying so many 90 stats. I'm getting mixed up here. But Griezmann is going right mid in the team. So now we have got the third last position in the team. We have got Nolito, Mertens, Konoplyanka, Hazard, and Sterling. All of them have pace other than Nolito, but. Nelito is Nelito's ruled out of this. I don't even care. It's either going to have to be Conor. It's either going to be. Oh, I actually can't think. Who's actually going to be? Who would you choose out of this? I don't even know. Now we all know that FIFA is basically about OP players, and Conor Plianka is one of those players. So I cannot say no to him. He is so overpowered in foot draft, and every time I get him, I he ruins my chances because I want to get Neymar and obviously Ronaldo on the left hand side. But we get Conor Plianka, 84 rated. It ruins our chances. But I have to take him now. Because he just, he's, his card is actually OP when you play with him. So, Conor Pianka, you're in the team. Alright, this is where it gets tricky. We have got the first striker position. We have Morata, Ibra, 98, Giroud, 92, striker Bale. Where did that come from? And 93, Harry Kane. Literally, it's going to have to be, obviously, between Bale or Ibra. Ibra does, obviously, wouldn't link with anyone. But 99 shooting. But Bale literally would link. Hopefully we get Ronaldo in the next rugby position because if we don't, bet this might ruin it. But I think Bale would actually be sick. Bale would actually be sick in this. I think I have to go striker Bale. Striker Bale would literally kill every defence, along with Ronaldo, obviously. But I have to choose Bale. We're going with Bale. Bale is the first striker in the team. This is where it gets absolutely juicy because the last striker position. Look at who we have. 99 striker Ronaldo with 99 pace. And 99 shooting and 99 dribbling. Adjur is 91. Vardy 91. 98 Lewandowski. And Adair who's just there to fill up spaces pretty much. But literally, if you're not thinking about choosing Ronaldo, you're basically dumb. That's basically what you're... You're basically dumb if you don't choose Ronaldo in this position. Because who... Striker Ronaldo and Striker Bale in the same team. That is literally going to kill defences. It literally... I don't even know the word, but it would literally just kill them. It will. So, 99 striker Ronaldo, you're going in the team because you are just sick. You are sick. All right, guys, so that is the team finished. Let me know what you think of this team because this team will literally kill every single team out there. I don't even care. This team. Obviously, Messi isn't European, so he obviously isn't in the team. And some other players as well, like Neymar as well, isn't in the team because they're, 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 just, they're Brazilian and Argentinian. They're, that's not in Europe. So if you're wondering why I haven't chosen Messi here, that's why. So don't have a go at me in the comments because Messi obviously isn't playing in the Euros. So that's why he's not here. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more like this. Smash. How many likes did I say before? 1,294, I think it was. So smash that many likes. And I'll bring you something like this again. Yours is coming up. Let me know who you think is going to win in the comments. If you win, if you actually guess the right thing, you'll be entered into the giveaway properly. But if you don't guess it, then you're just not entered at all because you haven't got it right. So let's not hope an underdog wins. Otherwise, you're all basically going to lose. If like, someone like Slovakia win, <laughs> no one's going to win the giveaway. It'll actually be ridiculous. So you better get commenting if you want to get a chance of actually winning the giveaway. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button. I think I've already said that a million... I always say this a million times. I repeat myself several times in the video. But anyway, I'm just going to say it again. Smash 1,294 likes. Subscribe if you're on your round here. And I'll catch you guys next time.